how are you? I'm going to tell you a story about a friend I had. He was the shortest fella in class. We were all in standard two, and his mother would wake him up in the morning, dress him up, and in those days we never had cream for the hair. What they would do is take coconut oil and they would rub it over their heads and he would have so much coconut oil on his head. By the time he came to class, it was in the afternoon, the oil would flow down his face and his skin would be like oily skin. And the first day I met him in school, I asked him, what is your name? And he said, Pam Chivam. My name is Pam Chivam. Actually, it was Paramasivam, but he called himself Pamchivam. So imagine all of us were this high, and this guy was this high. We were all in the same class. But he was a naughtiest fellow in school. He would constantly distract everybody. He wouldn't pay attention. He would always be punished by the teacher. He'd be told to stand at the corner, or he would be scolded for disrupting everybody. He was a person who loved fun. He was always cracking jokes with the teacher. He was saying things which would make the teacher laugh. He would, you know, tease the boys. When the teacher was writing on the board, he would make faces like this. And he would make us all laugh. So one day, he came to me and he said, Listen, would you like to walk back home from school today? I said, I can't do that. He asked me why. I said, because I've got my sister in primary six. We are in primary one. And she will come after school and she will pick me up and she will send me home in the bus with her. And we also had a bus pass. So every month you paid three ringgit to the bus company and they'd give you a pass. And for the whole month you could show the pass. And we love the pass. It was white color, sometimes it was pink color, sometimes it was green, sometimes it was red. For every month, they had a different color. And therefore, there was no necessity for me to take money to school. Mother would pack food. I would just show the bus pass to the person in the bus, and I would be allowed to sit in the bus, and the conductor wouldn't disturb me. But Panchivam had to pay money every day to come to school. And to go back from school, he also had to pay money. He was a naughty fellow. You know what he would always do? He would go to the canteen and he would eat whatever the money the mother had given him. He would eat food bought with that money. He would then spend extra money using his bus fare for extra food and then he would walk back home. So one day he said to me, Listen, we'd go and buy some sweets, okay? All right, you follow me and we'll walk. And it's going to be an exciting day. It'll be an adventure. You would love it. I'll show you some secret places where, you know, we can see wonderful things. So believing this guy, I carried my bag. And in those days, when you go to school, the bag is full of books. It'll be so big. And I was a little fellow like this in standard two, probably about seven years of age. I told my sister, Akka, I'm not coming back home by bus. I'm going to take a walk. And my sister said, you can't do that. You're too small. And the house is very, very far away. The bus takes 20 minutes. You might take two hours to walk. I said, it doesn't matter. I'm going back home on foot and that's it. She would try to persuade me to get into the bus. I wouldn't listen. And eventually, with a great deal of anger, she got into the bus and she went off. And we set off from school. And straight away, Pam Shivam went and bought some sweets and gave me some sweets. Two other fellows had also come in, Guna and Ragu, and we were walking. And we walked all the way from Sramban town, from the Salonis Hall, where the Vivekananda Tamil school was. And we walked up through the lake gardens to Rasa, 
and up the Rasa Hill through the hospital, which was a brand new building at that time, through some mountainous paths that only Pam Chivam knew. Deep in the afternoon, it was hot. We were walking through the foliage under very tall trees. It was like a walk in the jungle. My shirt became filthy. My shoes were muddied. But we had a great time. He showed us fruits. He showed us some leaves. We caught some spiders. He showed us some streams along the way. There were some fish, beautiful fish. And we walked all the way down. And by the time I got home, Pam Chimama was still with me. He had to walk another half a mile to his house. And mom was standing in front of the house like this. And she called me, Ganesan, come here. And who is that with you? I said, um, I'm sorry, mom, but that's Pamchivam. I said, Pamchivam, you better come along with me. Mom's mad, you know, you better come. And so I went there and she said, do you have any idea how terrified I was? Mm, you must be punished. And then she suddenly knelt and hugged me because she was so scared that I'd been lost. And then she looked at Pamchivam and she said, you are a naughty fellow. You should go home quickly. Your mother would be worried sick. He said, yes, auntie. Yes, auntie. Thank you, auntie. Sorry, auntie. I'm off now. And he ran off. And that was it. And the next day, he had gone to school ahead of me and he told everybody, we had a big adventure yesterday. Ask Ganesan. It was fantastic. And I went there. All the boys and girls said, Did you go on an adventure with Pamchivam? How was it? I heard that there were some fish and that there were spiders and that you climbed up the hill. And I said, Yes. And Pamchivam became the instant hero of the class. That is the story of my dear friend Pamchivam. And I hope you enjoyed it. If your mom gives you money to come back home by bus, get back home. Don't do anything else like I did. But there it is. Good night. Thank you. I'll see you again.